Welcome to the Devil's Gate Dam, a place once called a portal to hell. Today we will dive into the history of this dam, and the curse that is said to come along with it. We will look at the role Jack Parsons and L. Ron Hubbard have played and their connection to both the Devil's Gate Dam and JPL. Nestled deep within the Los Angeles County lies a place that has fascinated inhabitants for centuries. A place where the boundaries between the natural world and the supernatural are shrouded in mystery. Welcome to Devil's Gate Dam. A structure constructed in 1920 with the primary goal of taming the tumultuous forces of the Arroyo Seco. But beneath its concrete facade lies a rich history steeped in intrigue, mysticism, and unexplained phenomena. As we embark on this journey, we will explore the origins and legends surrounding Devil's Gate Dam. According to the indigenous Tongva people, the laughter-like sound of the rapids surrounding the dam was attributed to the coyote spirit, and the rock formation resembling a devil's profile only added to its mystique. Fast forward to the 20th century, and the Devil's Gate Dam would take an even darker turn in its history. Whispers began to circulate, suggesting that the dam might be one of the seven portals to hell itself. Alongside these unsettling tales, reports of inexplicable occurrences such as disappearances and eerie phenomena began to surface, turning the dam into a focal point for those seeking answers that transcended the realm of science. The story of this dam is not complete without the story of Jack Parsons, L. Ron Hubbard, and Aleister Crowley. Born on October 2, 1914 in Los Angeles, California. Jack Parsons exhibited an innate fascination with explosions and chemistry from an early age. His childhood friend, Ed Foreman, became his partner in backyard experiments, setting the stage for what would become a remarkable scientific journey. Parsons' brilliance led him to Caltech, where he became a researcher in the 1930s. By that time, he had already co-founded the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, and invented solid rocket fuel. His reputation as a scientific luminary was on the rise, but he was also deeply immersed in a different realm, the mystical world of the Ordo Templi Orientis, OTO, an occult organization led by the enigmatic Aleister Crowley. In a fascinating account of Parsons' life, author John Carter reveals that Parsons claimed to have summoned Satan when he was just 13 years old. This early experience marked the beginning of Parsons' lifelong fascination with the occult, a passion that intensified when he discovered the writings of Aleister Crowley. While both Parsons and Crowley mentioned Satan in their work, they were not Satan worshippers. Instead, they were free-spirited pagans who explored mysticism, experimented with hallucinogens, and championed the philosophy of do what thou wilt. Aleister Crowley had followers around the world, and Parsons quickly became one of his favorites. As Parsons climbed the ranks of the OTO, he continued his groundbreaking work at JPL a scientific institution that would go on to create and maintain numerous space vessels. But the story takes an even stranger turn when L. Ron Hubbard, a charismatic writer and spiritual seeker, enters Parsons' life. Both Parsons and his young girlfriend, Betty, were captivated by Hubbard, and the three embarked on a quest to incarnate the goddess Babylon on Earth, a bewitching redhead who was destined to give birth to the Antichrist. The rituals they performed were unconventional to say the least. Parsons' own notes detailed invoking with a wand, and Hubbard actively participated in these bizarre ceremonies. They believed they were summoning spirits and wielding incredible power through their acts of sorcery, all in pursuit of an otherworldly goal. Some of these ceremonies are said to have occurred at the Devil's Gate Dam, as according to Crowley, the Devil's Gate Dam area was one of the seven portals to hell. The Babylon working rituals concluded in a whirlwind of intensity and personal upheaval. Jack Parsons and Sarah Northrup's relationship crumbled, with Hubbard becoming a central figure in their lives. In an ironic twist, Hubbard and Sarah embarked on a passionate affair, leaving Parsons both emotionally and spiritually shattered. Soon thereafter, Hubbard and Sarah left with a substantial sum of money from Parsons, further deepening his sense of betrayal. Parsons, in a state of emotional turmoil, continued his occult pursuits while working on groundbreaking advancements in rocket propulsion at JPL. Eventually, a red-headed artist named Marjorie Cameron entered their lives and became the focus of their mystical efforts. Cameron's involvement in their rituals would forever change the course of their bizarre journey. 
As their experiments continued, Hubbard's fascination with the OTO and Crowley's teachings deepened. It is a legacy that has raised questions about the influence of the occult on the foundations of Scientology, an organization Hubbard would later establish. Some have suggested that elements of the OTO's black magic found their way into Scientology, although this remains a subject of debate within both communities. Tragically, Jack Parsons' life took a fatal turn on June 17, 1952. While working with volatile chemicals in his home laboratory, an explosion claimed his life, leaving behind a legacy of scientific achievements and occult mysteries that continue to captivate the imagination. Some say it was an assassination, although the official cause for the explosion was said to be an accident. The story of Jack Parsons, L. Ron Hubbard, and their quest to bridge science and the occult is a tale like no other. Whether it was science, magic, or a peculiar blend of both, their unconventional journey continues to captivate and mystify to this day. The Devil's Gate Dam, an architectural marvel built to tame the wild waters of the Arroyo Seco, stands as both a symbol of human ingenuity and a canvas for folklore. Welcome back guys. Now we're heading to Devil's Gate Dam. Uh, there's a lot of interesting history at this dam. We're gonna be going into that in this video. It's gonna be a crazy video. Uh, we're gonna go into the dam, I think. I'm gonna send the drone out. So legend says that even going back to Native American times, uh, this land is said to have been haunted. There's a creek that runs through here. It used to be a lot stronger. People have said that it like creates a, a laughter type of sound. Really weird history here. Um, we're gonna check, keep checking it out. I'm gonna get some, uh, we're gonna go into all that. Hello! Super muddy right now. So this is the rock that they say looks like the devil. The horn up there. That's JPL right over there. <laughs> 